I guess we kind of met in high school when we were maybe about 14, 15 and I guess straight away we started playing together and we were in like a rock band before this together and then that ended and we still wanted to play music together so we formed Tudor Cinema Club. And she spoke words that would melt in your hands. Each song at its core is a pop song and but it's got you know rock influence and dance influence as well so it's kind of combining all those elements and yeah it's just I think it's a very listenable record and very enjoyable yeah and we put a lot of work into it and we're very proud of it so you know I think it's worth a listen We go through the same uh, label in the UK and also we're with a French label who are, who are quite tight with Phoenix as well and it was through the UK label that we got the hookup to do the cover for their re-release of their album and they heard it and they liked it um, and then I guess I think it was about a year ago we went to a show in Glasgow um, and we met up with them and had a drink and um, a few months later they just said do you want to come on tour and of course we said yeah. So good I think it's one of the only bands that we've we've toured with that we've you know watched them every night and like we toured with them in, in Europe for a couple of weeks and then in the States for a couple of weeks and you just never get bored of listening to their songs and they're one of the bands that we always like learn new stuff from them as well you know, they're so experienced and it's just a great opportunity I think. Even like just seeing the kind of equipment they use even on stage and stuff that's like it's really insightful to just watch what they do and also Chris from Phoenix is a complete guitar geek which is just like me and Sam, so like we had a few conversations about that and just like... Sharing chords. Yeah, share, yeah, just like really kind of geeky conversations and learning stuff from each other, which was cool. I think we always have something in our heads that we'd like to see in each city, but it, almost, it hardly ever works out because um, we, we, we have to do quite a lot of travelling, especially here, and we're travelling for so long and usually we just arrive, we get straight into the venue, sound check, maybe grab some dinner and then we play. Uh, so we don't, we don't always get a lot of time, but there's, there's a couple days so far that we've had off. We, um, we had a morning off in DC, which was cool because there's like loads of stuff to go and, go and see and do there and we got to see all the, all the sights there which was cool. We had a day off here. Yeah, well we're spending five days here, so. Got a Ford Mustang. You'd like to have, yeah, yeah we rented. We went cruising. We rented a Mustang and went cruising, it was awesome. We drove to Venice Beach, went up into the hills. <laughs> yeah, the hills was a bit creepy. Oh, that was, was like awesome. A bit of a we found this, uh, there was like an open house viewing, this like $14 million mansion <laughs> in the hills. So we decided to go and have a look, and it, it, it was pretty good. <laughs> as soon as we walked in, the, the, yeah, the they girl were so he was showing was like, a, this is why you shouldn't have a sign outside. <laughs> You're like, we basically oh, only okay. we drove up the hills. They didn't know nice, how much money we had. A nice view of the city and like all the houses in the way. You couldn't see anything. They were like, should we just nip into this open house? This boy and have a cool ass view. So which it did. Which it did. Infinity pool. I was saying I was really enjoying it. One of my really big favorite films is a film called Stand by Me. Uh, it's got Kiefer Sutherland in it, really, and he's really, really young, it's really funny. Oh, it's just a great film, and yeah, another Man on Wire is a big favourite of mine. I love, I love Tarantino, I love all the Tarantino movies, pretty much all of them. Um, I, I love know, uh, Life is Beautiful. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of my essentials as well. It's pretty moving, and uh, still like kind of stupid movies like Zoolander, I guess. And I haven't watched a good movie in a long time. We watch so many movies because we do so much traveling that that's one of the easiest things to do when you're sitting in a van. But I haven't seen a good one in a long time. A lot of chick flicks. You know, you gotta have your easy watches that's, when you're, when you're at a, that's not over or something. They make 90 minutes go by pretty yeah. quickly. You've got a seven you didn't. Drive. You didn't even used to be into that. You, I know, I you got sucked it. in. I've converted him. He converted I'm me. not. I'm still not going for that. I stopped myself when I watched the first ten minutes of Confession of a Shopaholic, and I said, "This is I've too much." I've still not seen that. The yeah, Netflix and rom-coms. So I turned it off. Oh, I like to.